Hello everyone, this is lesson number five. In this case, I'm going to talk about creating a demo application. This is, I think it is really possible that I will split this video in three smaller. And the first one, I will create a demo application. In the second one, I will create a Docker file. In the third one, I will uh, create a GitLab.yaml file. Okay, let's start. Also, it is important that I'm using Jasmine as my testing framework for Node.js. This is a Node.js application. Also, I'm using uh, Clone for building this project. Uh, Clone works really good for me, and I won't install all the dependencies of my local machine. For the reason I'm using Clone. Okay, let's take a look in here. I have three different dependencies. The first one is Express, uh, the framework, and Jasmine Node and Request. Also, I have another development dependency. It is for start serving and test. As it says, it starts the server and tests in a single comment. It is really useful because, as you remember, we use the keyword. We use the keyword uh, CMD when we create a Docker file. And if you remember, we use CMD because first we create the image, and that image we have, I don't know, run and many packages we want to install. At the end of that image, for at the end of that file, for example, we have CMD and the command for running the the, uh, the project in that case. And for that reason, if we have uh, for Node.js, we, we will have, for example, Node and the server.js, for example. But we will have to start first the server, and then we will have to run the test cases uh, against that server. And that's kind of long, that's kind of, it is not that beautiful, it is not that clear. For that reason, I'm using start server and test. It is start the server and then it run the test in a single comment and we will see in a few seconds. From here, it's the, I think that's all. It is a mistake index.js, but it, it doesn't matter because, okay, let's take a look in here. This is scripts. It is, it is for the start server and test. First, we have the start server, then we have test and we have the CI. In the start server, we are setting it up with um, the application we want to run. In this case, node, node, and I have my server in here, index.ci uh, cd tutorial.js. Also, my, my test cases will run in here. Um, it is really helpful to read the documentation, the Jasmine documentation, because there are some configurations you need to do before running the test cases. If you have any question, uh, leave that in the comments. I will help, try to help you as soon as possible. And then in the CI we have start server and test. Here we uh, define the, the, the it is the script that, that we want to run. We define the start server. It will be executed this. And what does it mean? It means that it will wait. It it will wait for this um, URL to be able, available. Sorry, and after that, it will execute the test. This test is just this script that we are going to run. Then this is the server. It is really, really, really simple. Uh, we are using Express. Then we define a get and for the root of, of the of the server of the environment and the request and the response we respond with a status with a status 200 and and this message this message it is hello world from gila city tutorial and we are listening in port 8080 after that this is this is the specification that the test cases uh, we define this in here and this uh, keyword spec is required for this to run and the base URL we are using localhost in port 8080 hello welcome page and just an example function describe and in describe uh, we define what do, what we want 
and then uh, we run this function uh, 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 this is just a description and the function don't request that get base URL in here and finally uh, we get the response from that we what, what are we expecting we expect that response that is status code to be equal to 200 have an error in here. Uh, as you can see I have an error in here because I'm not getting the welcome page, I'm just getting the root page in here. But it doesn't matter because in the base URL it is okay. Uh, if we run this it will t uh, it won't fail because it, as you can see in here we have 200 and we are waiting 200 that's all the test case we have in here. Let's take a look how to run this. In the package.json we in the package.json we define the CI and let's see npm run and the script we want to run. First it is start the server, now it is waiting for the server to be available. Let's wait it is available and test cases run as expected. One test, one assertion, no failures and no skip uh, test cases. Uh, we are done from here. Let's push this change this changes into our repository. I remove all the files from here. And uh, let me see, I will push the changes in here. Now I will create a new I will create a new branch in Gildap. Let me see. first uh, app for example or base app because it's, this is the first implementation create branch and here I will use uh, this is not required Let's say remote at origin and this. Sorry, sorry, it was an error. Remote at origin and let's. out base app now we are in the branch we add all the files we commit this is our first commit and then we push to base branch base app sorry my username And now we have the files in here. Let me see. We have the files in this branch. And that's perfect. And let me see if to create I will create a merge request for this one or we are okay. I think for now we are okay. We will merge this later with the Docker file and the GitLCI the YAML and that's all for for that video for this video and see you in the next one thank you very much for watching